Hey guys, welcome back to the garage. Well, as you can see, I've got the Honda S65 back up on the table. In a recent video, I kind of tore it all apart. We didn't uh, restore it, we just kind of rebuilt it, uh, getting it ready to do a multi-hundred mile ride, somewhere seven, eight hundred mile ride. So there's a video where we went through and, and redid the bike. One last detail that I did not get done, and that's because I didn't have the part. Um, I'm concerned about while we're on the road, being able to charge phones and, and do those sorts of things. So I went on Amazon, like I get a lot of parts, and I found kind of a nifty little deal. This thing right here, of course I've gotten it dirty, uh, mounts to the handlebars, and it's got a couple USB plugs. It's got a little on-off switch, I guess you can turn it on and off. And then it just, just runs back and hooks directly to the battery. Now, the neat thing about it that I like, and I really hope it does work, up here it has a voltmeter and will tell me how many, if the battery's charging and what the voltage of the battery is. So I think I want to get this installed and then the bike should be ready. But uh, to, to install this, I want to run the cord inside the frame and <laughs> if you watch the last the video on this bike, to get to get to the frame, you got to take the tank off. To get the tank off, you got to take the seat off. And to get the seat off, I got to take this rack off. I don't want to do any of that if I don't have to. So there is a small hole right here in the frame where the wiring harness comes up through the frame, and then it comes out. I think it you know it should connect down here by the battery. And my hope is to run a piece of wire there it is makes it a little easier once you've got the battery moved and not worried about it ripping wiring loose and so forth okay so what I want to do, this has just a couple eyelets on it. I was kind of hoping to maybe just do one of those numbers. Oh man, it's got a it's got a plug here, so you can you can plug different. Uh, different connectors on to it, depending on how you want to get power to this. Don't know that that plug is going to make it through that hole. Yeah, it will. Yeah, it will. There we go. Ah, oh, yes. Fantastic. Right, not too much. All right. It's got a little thumb screw. There is a loose nut right here. You don't want to lose that. And that take that thumb screw out, and you should be able to separate this enough. Wow, that said that was for a 7 8 handlebar. That's not even, there's no way I can tighten that up on that. <clears throat> Maybe I'm supposed to, of course, you know, I, read the, I didn't read the instructions. <laughs> Maybe I need to, uh, there went the nut. What is this? This is, that's a pretty hard piece. I don't think that's. Hmm. Okay. Maybe this goes around. It's like a cushion or something. Let's see if that will take up the slack. Yeah. 
Yep, I think that's exactly what that was for. But I've got the I wonder if I was supposed to stick it on the bracket. There we go. There we go. Just gotta hold your tongue right and get the right angle, I guess. Okay. Uh-oh. What do I do with it? Oh, it's hanging right here. Anything that slides on. Slides on like that. I may zip tie it to the uh, throttle there or something. Okay, so then now we've got to work on getting the battery and all this put back together. Let's see. Get these all tightened down. Well, let's turn it on, see if it gives any kind of reading for voltage. 12.2. See if it'll fire up, see if that changes at all. Well, I saw it go up to 12.5. No lights on, we're charging at about 15.1. I can get to about 16 and a half. Well, let's find something that we can plug into this and Make sure it's going to work. All right. I have found in my old iPhone. Plug that into there. I don't know if you guys will be able to see it or not. On, stay on. So we're not charging yet. Aha! Uh -huh. Charging the. Sweet! So I don't know what the long term prognosis for that is, how, how well it will work over a, a period of time. There's my headlight on. We're still charging at 13.1 volts, just at idle. Phone is still charging. Awesome. Well, there you go, guys. 
I'll put a link to this little doodad in the uh, in the description of the video. Got it off of Amazon if you're interested in picking one of those up. Just for the couple minutes here running, it seems like it's doing a pretty good job. See you on the next video.